Hey, welcome back guys. I've got an interesting project, little hammer that I bought at a yard sale for a couple bucks. It um, has a little bit of a gold hue to it, so when I got it home I thought it could be brass, and I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but it's actually a brass hammer. I bought it, I got tons of hammers, um, but I bought it mainly because uh, of the shape. It had kind of an interesting shape. So I thought, man, that's a pretty cool looking hammer. So uh, I'm thrilled that it's a brass hammer because no, most of the time I don't see them with any kind of real form. They're just a, a solid cylinder with a handle. So this is pretty neat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it up and see if I can't give it new life. So stick around, it should be a fun project. We'll just use the uh, bandsaw that I'm restoring right now. It's kind of our stand today. Okay, it's a Stanley. We'll use the post vise on this just to prevent um, any damage that the uh, the other vise might do. The handle doesn't feel overly tight, so I think I can pop it out of here if I can keep keep it still okay we'll take just a little bit different approach with this Okay, well, we'll clean this up a bit and we'll put a new handle on it. Well, it's coming along pretty good here. I'm going to do some hand sanding on it now. Um, if you're looking in the background here a little bit, you'll see my knife that I'm uh, working on. You can catch that video. I don't know if I'll publish that before or after this one, but uh, if you're interested in knife making, that's definitely something you'll want to look up. It's a nice skinner that I'm making for someone. So. Went out pretty good. That's the side that says Made in USA. And then of course, that side says Stanley. I'm not worried about some of the little chips and what have you. If you know anything about brass hammers, you, you pretty much use them on a lot of areas where you're kind of hitting and you're not trying to mess up threads and 
or beat the metal into submission. Basically, the hammer takes the damage. So um, that's pretty much the purpose of a brass hammer. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. But it is cleaned up. And so now I think it's time we'll put a handle on it. Kind of wrapping this up now. I'm going to put the handle on just a little different than what I normally do, mainly because I don't have a good wedge. What I have is soft wood, and that's not going to do it. So, put some epoxy in this thing. It's probably way more than I need. I'd like to float a little bit of epoxy in this thing. Don't know how well I can get it down in there, but I'm going to try. Then I'm going to jam that wedge in there. Not worry about the excess and clean that up pretty easy. doing a good job of course this could break on me in a week I don't know but if it does it's not that difficult to put one back on and next time I'll have wood wedges if that's the case all right well that let's see if I can't get a close-up of that try to get it to focus a little bit We'll fill those cavities in. Okay, that's about all I'm going to do. See how that linseed oil just kind of goes in there and some liberal coats on it. I'll put probably three. 
three, four. Let's see if I can maybe show that a little bit better. Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm Chris with M7 Metal Works and uh, finishing up another project in the shop today. One that I'm super excited about really because now I get to use it and I get to, I get to enjoy you know, the, uh, the fruits of my labor. Guys, I bought this for two bucks at a yard sale. This thing was hideous when we first got it. And now look at it. It's beautiful. It's got a brand new handle on it. I've, I've, put, um, I've put a hickory handle on it. I've got uh, a nice polish on it. Now I didn't go, I didn't go crazy guys. I didn't, um, I didn't try to get rid of all the little um, dings and dents on it. And I'll try to put this on the anvil and maybe make a close up of it, but um, get you a little better picture. But, but all of this is just character. There's nothing wrong with any of that. Um, I'm just thrilled. This is a really, really great hammer. And for what I paid for it and the little minimal amount of work I went into it, I mean, that's absolutely a treasure. Something that I'll really, really treasure in my shop. And so, uh, this is something I use anytime I don't want to damage the, the, the work that I'm, I'm hammering on. Um, it's also, it could be used when you don't want to have spar. A lot of different reasons guys might use a uh, brass hammer. And they're not cheap, guys. These things cost a lot of money. And I literally got this thing for a couple bucks. So a couple bucks and a little bit of labor. Guys, you can do it too. Get on out there, find yourselves a project. Hey, speaking of projects, if you're into knife making, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. This is one I'm working on right now. I just got the handle glued up. It's cured up. I'm gonna start working on that, finishing it. That's a uh, little Skinner knife. So just a kind of a preview of my next video. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm Chris.